Good evening everybody, it's Avril from Mickey Tit Yoga here. Well, I'm going to read a lovely story tonight. It's called Memory Bottles and it's by Beth Shoshan and it's illustrated, you know the pictures inside, by Katie Pament. Now, I hope you don't mind, but you see, I've recorded this evening's story because I'm celebrating my daddy's 80th birthday. So I hope you don't mind, but I'll give you all a wave anyway because I know you'll be there watching. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Are you all snuggled down? I hope so. So here we go. Memory Bottles by Beth Shusha. Mr McAllister has a shed at the end of his garden. I always see him go into his shed and I often see him come out of his shed. But I still don't know what is in his shed. So you see, there he is, watching as Mr McAllister comes and goes to and from his shed. So one day I ask him, just like that. Will you tell me what's in your shed, Mr McAllister? And he says that if I promise not to laugh, he'll share what is in there with me. So, there's Mr McAllister up at his shed. Wow, it's like a tree house, isn't it? Mr McAllister's shed smells of old pipe. And the light isn't as bright inside as it is outside. But I can just make out things shining on the shelves. It does look quite darkish in there, doesn't it? Bottles! Mr McAllister's shed is full of bottles. Red ones, frosted ones, tall ones, round ones, twisty ones. Double ones, super skinny topped ones. Wow! Look at all of those. They are super duper wonderful shaped bottles. Memories, Mr McAllister says to his shed full of bottles. Each bottle holds exactly one of my most special memories. So when I'm old and I can't remember things, I just open a bottle and everything comes rushing back. Wow! And with that, Mr McAllister pops open the frosted bottle and takes a long, deep breath. <sighs> Pressing my nose against a window, watching my father going to work, breathing on the glass, writing my name in the mist. That's what he remembers from that particular bottle. So I grab the blue bottle and he flips off the lid and sighs. Oh, the first time I saw Mrs McAllister at a dance with her big blue chiffon dress and her hair tied up in lots of little bows. Then we grab the tall one. All right, Scoring the goal in extra time to give Redbridge Academical's victory in the Pennant Cup. Wow! So Mr McAllister used to play football. <laughs> and the round one. Yes, watching my children walking through the sea edge. Then seeing their footprints stolen away by the waves breaking on the shore. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful memory. I love watching my children on the beach. Even as they grow up, it's still lovely to see. And the twisty one. Mmm, the smell of cowslips on the mountain air after a five hour climb to the top. And the double one. Aha, playing aeroplanes in our freshly mown garden with my two grandchildren zooming overhead. <laughs> Do 
Do you play aeroplanes like that? I remember playing aeroplanes like that when I was little. Ah, and then exhausted, we flop down in two old chairs and look at all the bottles on the shelves. And it's then that I see one in the corner, which we haven't opened yet. What's in the tall, skinny one, Mr. McAllister? And look at that tall, skinny one. It's an unusual bottle, isn't it? He leaps out of the chair, sweeps the bottle off the shelf, and with his thumb, pushes the cork out of the top, shouting, Today! I'm going to pop the memory of today into this bottle. <laughs> there he is, he's popped the top off. And we fall back into the chairs laughing. So what a lovely memory they will have of today. I suppose that's the first time really that they've ever properly talked, isn't it? Because he used to just see Mr McAllister going and coming, going and coming. And then he stopped to ask him if he could see what was in his shed. So that's nice that Mr McAllister's made a new friend too, isn't it? Well, I am with my daddy this weekend and I'm going to be making lots of memories with my family for my dad's 80th birthday. And I'm very sure that we'll be reminiscing a lot too. So have a lovely weekend, everybody. Take care. I'll see you all on Monday and as usual, love you all to bits. Night night. <laughs>